Oh, come on. It's supposed to be summer. Hi, we're Ian and Julie. Follow us on our tiny homestead and our debt-free project of a lifetime, the building of our shipping container home here in the Pyrenees, and all of this alongside our full-time jobs. Mm. Oh, God, he's disappeared. <laughs> I need a long door. Well, I had been doing my uh, garage annex, but then Julie came back from the shop with a load of plants. Um, and we always said, you know, if we find a good bargain with plants, then we'll buy them there and then. But instead of just sort of planting them in a nursery um, area and having the risk of them all dying before we actually plant them, we thought we may as well just get on and get this bed here at the back of the garage all sorted so she can actually plant them for real and then hopefully they'll uh, mature and sort of hide all this wall here. We got these logs up here the other week from down below. We were going to use them as fence posts, but we've got new fence posts now. So we're going to use these to retain this section. So I'm just going to put two, one on top of each other, um, secure them with rebar going down. And then we've got some um, retaining wall plastic, that bubbly plastic around the, about the right height. And we're just going to put that behind it as well. And then hopefully Julie will cover it in her uh, diesel and oil mix just to uh, make it a little bit better because they are they're getting a bit soft on the top here but they should be okay when, when I drill through it it's pretty solid so yeah sideline with another project That went in better. No rocks. He's dead. It's smoking. Holy crap. Uh, oh wow, that it's not just the wood smoking now, it's actually This soil is full of stones and Ian's told me to get my back into it. <laughs> You want your flowers, woman? You dig. Oh, that was that's good digging. Precision. Just got this plastic this is the remnants of our retaining wall so we may as well use it um probably mean a, a bug trap between the logs and the plastic and everything will live there but uh, yeah it'll be all right Julie's going a little bit crazy. Oh. This is the stone pile that she has got rid of just in place of these plants. I so she's a she's she's on a fifth hole and uh, yeah, there's quite a few rocks and stones. I'm trying to keep my calm. <laughs> 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 
The final few plants. We're getting there. We got the green membrane down. Put some staples. We'll get some uh, stones around the base of these plants, and then I've uh, just tucked some little staples in, just to keep it all from blowing away. And this was definitely on, not on the agenda this morning when we had breakfast. It was me going to the local shop seeing these and thinking oh I've got to have them so yeah totally sidetracked today but it's a good project just got to the off-grid plot so hopefully Ian's remembered all the instructions the guys showed him there weren't too many slimming heavy though it's supposed to only be 0.65 of a ton Puppy's little helpers. Well, that was a learning experience. <laughs> Absolutely zero steering. You just have to manhandle it when you've got a little bit of momentum. But uh, yeah, it's a lot easier than the Wacker plate, but um, there are certain areas that I can't get into this very well safely without um, it falling on top of my little uh, uh, manhole cover and things like that. So I use the Wacker plate there. But um, yeah, another project we weren't planning. Um, I mentioned earlier the uh, the gravel. Well, previously we were told that delivery for gravel was in the region of four to 700 euros. Um, we were shocked by that and couldn't really believe it, but 
anyway we did and uh, because of that we would rent out the tipper truck and Julie would do 12 to 14 trips to the, um, the quarry come back and then we'd dump it and then we'd move it about or smaller amounts you've seen us shoveling out tons of gravel out of the back of our trailer well I thought oh come on there must be a way of doing it so I was trying to contact local um, tipper truck drivers and things like this and we contacted one who used to live in our village and he said to us well why don't you just ask the quarry because all they do is contract me to do it we went, oh come on so we went to the quarry and it works out around six euro a ton delivery their trucks are 13 ton that pile over there is 13 ton so it came to about 90 95 euros to deliver 13 ton now the cost of that tipper truck that we rent out the, the actual vehicle rental the diesel and all the washing tokens because you have to hand them back clean comes to around 100 euros so all of this time we could have just had a dump of gravel and that's what we've done and before that we've got this little um i call them always steam rollers it's a compactor vibrator roller compactor i've done all of that concrete so that's near enough flat and now we're going to fill it all with that 020 over there tomorrow so this is on a day rental, but they allow you to take it out around five o'clock. So I'm nip, nip top here for a couple of hours. It's a bit noisy now. Not that I can hear it because it's bloody loud, that thing. Um, so we're going to head back for tea, let the neighbours have a bit of peace and quiet. But we'll be back here first thing in the morning, carry on compacting that concrete for about an hour and then start shifting that 020 with the skid steer and get all of that nice and level and sort of clean and tidy ready for the summer. Right, so this was a bit of a dip here with the um, the roller. I was getting caught with the wheels and I couldn't push it in or out. So I'm just gonna try and flatten this bit off first. Uh, see how I go. There's always a bit of manual stuff in there. But flatten it off as best I can and get the roller back down in a minute. And these boulders are a bit big as well. They weren't really crushing in 
where this stuff now will sort of fill in the gaps and hopefully it'll all just form one platform. We want it to merge into this grass down here a little bit. A few more loads. So we're going to be at this basically all day. difference we have to make we're trying to get as high as we can to the top of the perforated plastic our little piles diminishing they're getting there oh, just a quick break because although in the winter this is perfect in the summer this fan here just blows all the cooling air straight onto your legs so it's roasting after a while so it's best just to give it a, that a cool down plus the leg especially wearing black trousers and i thought well it was two degrees this morning with frost on the car and now it's red hot absolutely burning so uh, all the water is melting off the roof and that's what we can hear going into our um, fresh water tank down below right we'll have a quick drink and then finish off we, we got through this pretty quickly really i was actually thinking about getting an, another 13 ton but we're not we're going to rest up after this lot and get this compacted down so it all looks nice neat and tidy and is usable um, i think if we get another load then we might be overwhelmed with it and we don't really need it yet so uh, we'll do that once we've got the pathways all concreted and curbed i've just come in just to check on the uh, the eco flows to see whether they're charged um, or what power actually we were making off the sun and uh, zero power because they're both 100 percent and it's just half nine yeah, it's ridiculous that um that solar tracker works absolutely flawlessly and uh we'd be waiting till probably about one o'clock this afternoon before this was 100 percent charged so now we can have the lights on and not worry and coffee and coffee that's the next thing <laughs>
This has um, a water tank that basically just runs, I, can't, I don't know whether you can see it, runs water down onto the, uh, the rollers and it's just run out. But that's basically to uh, try and combine it all and uh, make it moist as the guy in the, in the rental place said. It doesn't pick it up on camera, but the whole time he's doing this, he's singing and I'll share it with you. He's listening to absolute 80s and 90s and he's in his little happy place singing. <laughs> Just like that, take it back. All done. Well, two projects we weren't expecting to do today. I was actually working on something else that I'll bring in a future video uh, until Julie distracted me with the plants. And then we got distracted by getting a decent quote for the delivery of that gravel. So I thought, oh, stuff it. We may as well just get it done and then it's all neat and tidy. So pretty pleased. So the back of the garage is all neat and tidy. And the, uh, the front driveway is all all covered up now all that horrible concrete stuff from my son's house is all covered up and it we... looks so smart now i mean yeah we've been looking at that and putting off actually going and hiring a tipper truck just for the sheer effort of having yeah. to do that i mean after we did the base for the foundation for the garage that was such hard work and um, yeah we we're so pleased we managed to get a good price for that because that's and That's, we know now, yeah. for in the future, we'll need another 13 oh gosh, tonne yeah. and um, we can just get it dumped. And that little skid steer just zips around. And uh, yeah, it took us probably two hours to do the whole job, which um, if we'd have had the tipper truck, that'd have been a day and a half at least. Just getting the gravel. And Ian's so confident now on that little um, skid steer. He's brilliant. We love it. <laughs> anyway, so we will see you in the next video. Next week. Cheeky thumbs up, as Julie always says, and we will see you, hopefully, back in the sun yes. on another project. Catch you next week. Have a good week, everyone.